I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program fuckers. And today I'd like to talk about Thailand and in particular Bangkok, Oriental City. And I gotta tell you, Bangkok itself there, it's a wonderful city. Absolutely wonderful. I love Bangkok. I think it's probably one of the greatest Asian countries. And uh, you know, Hong Kong is lovely expensive. Singapore is pristine, fucking expensive. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, the Asian, you know, Malaysia, you've got Indonesia, yeah, yeah, but Singapore and uh, look fuckers, Hong Kong, Singapore, Bangkok is my pick of international Asian cities and I just love I love Bangkok. One of the things I love so much is the Thai's attitude. Yes, they'll rip you off as soon as look at you. Of course. Of course. You're a fucking foreign foreigner. And uh, you're there for the picking. But they do it with a smile. And uh, if you've got your wits about you, you won't be ripped off by these fuckers. You've just got to be, be firm, polite, and fucking firm, you tell those fuckers where to get off. But Bangkok itself, Oriental City, I love it. It's a very old city. There's places in Bangkok that are like a time warp from 40 years ago. That's what Bangkok's like. It's it's a uh, street photographer's wet dream. It's amazing. Bangkok, it's the Oriental City which I think I could actually live there and survive. And, you know, the thing about Bangkok is it's quite affordable. You don't need a fortune to live there. For an international city, the prices are quite reasonable. Yes, it's getting higher and the US dollars had the shit fucked out of it. Yep, yep, yep. You can blame Obama and WWW Bush for that fuck up. But, I mean, basically, Bangkok itself, it's a pretty pretty nice place to be and stay away from drugs stay away from you know the excesses like drinking and fucking being stupid and you'll be pretty well okay you'll be pretty well okay there's some lovely girls in Bangkok uh, and I'm not just talking about you know pay for play action I'm talking about decent humans decent fucking humans you know girls with money and uh, you know if you if you're happy to uh you know, um, you know. I, I think I think a, a charming character <clears throat> like Archibald could do very well in Bangkok there. And uh, the the wonderful <coughs> the wonderful thing is their exquisite food, some of the best food you'll ever taste in your life. It's uh, it is a hot, stinking fucking city. Of course, it's fucking hot and stinking. But <clears throat> hopefully, you've hitched up with a uh, a lady friend who is. Um, uh, upper middle class and has a brand new vehicle uh, and you're also staying at fully air conditioned uh, accommodation and you're also dining at fully air conditioned uh, restaurants fuckers yes it's not that bad it's uh, it's an amazing city a lot of traffic that's one thing about Bangkok see <laughs> the Singaporeans tax the fuck out of cars to keep cars off the road. Great idea, Singapore. Bunch of cunts. But uh, Thailand, this aspiring middle class and this lady of your choice, who hopefully comes from the upper realms of the middle um, middle class, she would, uh, of course, have a vehicle, a brand new late model vehicle. And uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of them around, so the traffic can be a bit, bit congested. But... You know, it's one of these things laid back. Labor's cheap if you want any renovations done or things like that there. It's not Western prices. It's quite affordable. The thing about Asia itself, you've got to realize this. There is no designer bargains. I'm not talking about fakes. I'm talking about genuine, you know, brand name products. They're actually cheaper in the Western world than in Asia. And, uh... The Asians are brand name conscious. They love a good brand name. You can't blame the fuckers for that. But, you know, I tell you this now. Bangkok itself is probably the most relaxed. Uh, the people are probably decent. The, the most decent of the Asians. Um, 
the, uh, you know, there's some real decent ladies in Bangkok. I'm not talking about pay-for-play action. I'm talking about real humans, fuckers. These are girls with money who have a vehicle and, uh, you know, have a, uh, <clears throat> a prestige, a suede of prestige handbags and luxury goods. And i got to tell you, Bangkok is a wonderful, wonderful city. Oriental city, long history. It's a city I could very nicely explore. And what I mean by explore is photography would be fantastic. You could go around different parts of the city photographing things. There's so many wonderful things to see. It's a busy city. It's a 24-7 city. And I, I really think myself... It's a place to settle down and enjoy before you come back to Oz to milk their fucking health scheme. That's what I reckon, fuckers. Um, it's just beautiful oriental city. It's, uh, it's just got so much going for it. I mean, I love, I love my country, Australia. But fuck, fuck it's overpriced, overregulated, over... Just fucking bullshit everywhere. Whereas, uh... Bangkok has got a, you know, just a can-do every attitude. The thing I love about Bangkok is everyone can be a small business person. Just buy a little fucking cart, some barbecue coals and some chicken, and you're in fucking small business as a restaurant proprietor. There's no nasty red tape and rules and health inspectors. None of this bullshit shit there. But uh, Bangkok, one of the greatest cities on earth. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's the jewel in the Asian empire. And uh, I think it's absolutely fan-fucking-tastic. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of uh, Bangkok. Thank you.